why is my work exactly the same as Nicole Sachs's work is because option one is struggle with food and eating for the rest of your life. Option two is struggle with the emotional root causes that are causing you to struggle with your food and eating in your body. Option three is go on a diet, be the perfect size, never think about food ever again, exercise only because you love it, have the perfect inner dialogue, et cetera, et cetera. Be done, be perfect, have it figured out. Option three doesn't exist. We are either gonna struggle on the physical dimension with food and eating in our bodies, or we're gonna struggle on the emotional dimension, the root cause of why we're having this issue. But the third option of being in charge of everything, being totally in control of your body, having everything exactly the way you want it, doesn't exist. And if what we, what we have to do is come back to connect the physical to the emotional, because those are the only two options, what hurts versus what hurts more. What hurts struggling with your body, what hurts more struggling with the fact that you live in a conditioned society where you're struggling with your body even though you don't deserve to. Those are the only options. But that's why I think it is so abundantly not about food and eating and about the consciousness through which we're coming at this. Because I think what a lot of people have in mind as their goal is their body to look a certain way or their body to be a certain way. And that's living in option three, where you get to live as though you don't have any emotional components. You get to live as though your spirituality isn't gonna be a component of this whole process. You get to live disconnected, fragmented, and in total control. It's a lie. So part of the reason that people get cracked open, I had a client once, that was like, do you ever warn anyone? I was like, about what? And she goes, the awakening? <laughs> and that's why, is like people will come in thinking this is about it to be about food and eating and your body. And my whole point is this is about food, eating your body, your mind, your lifestyle, your soul, your past, your future, your everything. This is so much bigger than you want it to be. This is so much more complicated and deep than you want it to be because what you want is to have it be very simple and completely in your control and it's not. 